Andy from the 9-11 Hard Hat Pledge. We're going to take a walk down Vesey Street. This cuts right through where the construction hub is taking place along with the commuter hub that's supposed to be the envy of the world. Just take a walk with me. Just look at the sights. You can see the 70 stories were up on the Freedom Tower. And then over to the side, we're up about 40 stories on Tower 4. If you take a look over here, you can see the design for the transportation hub that will be taking place. Here's a nice shot of my fellow construction brothers doing their job, securing the area, setting up the support. Now, if you look at that building right there, the way it has that crisscross steel supports with the metal backing and the strong back with the I-beams, there's not a building like that built in the world. Right now, if they were to try to fly a plane into that, it would bounce off. On the right-hand side, you can see the outer edge of World Trade Center 7. That's the one that came down abruptly with a lot of controversy surrounding it. Me, personally, I think it was just the impact of the other two towers coming down that brought that down. A week from now, we'll be celebrating the 10-year anniversary. There's been great progress made. And I'd like to thank Eric Holder for that in a very strange way. Because if it wasn't for Eric Holder and his ridiculous idea of bringing Khalid Sheikh Mohammed here to try him downtown on an international stage, then I don't think all the powers that be in New York would have got their butts together and decided, you know what, we better build this place up or else we're going to look like a pathetic, weak country that after almost seven years, we were not able to rebuild this area. Now, two years ago, this place was a crater. And you look now, and it is a beauty on its way to be the envy of the world. People from all over the world coming down to look at Ground Zero. Right on the next. Now, there's still a great many injustices that need to be righted. One of them has to do with the museum. How many museums do you know that's seven stories underground? And why all the people that died with ranks, how come they're not recognized on the stone with their ranks next to their name? And why? Why all the texts that were written in that museum were written by Saudi scholars. Anybody want to tell me why? Because Alice Greenwald, the vice president of the 9-11 Memorial Museum, she's not answering any questions. Maybe you should inquire. Write to Alice Greenwald. Write to Joe Miller, the president of the 9-11 Museum. See what their answer is. I'd like to know. Andy Sullivan. 9-11 hot hat pledge.